Good morning, children. How are you today? Let's start with our English class. Okay, so on the page 93, for today we are going to read together a passage comprehension. We'll be reading aloud at home. Okay, let's start. The text below is about Music Day celebrations at school. Read it carefully. I hope you read this. Uh, you already read this because I asked you to read. Celebrating Music Day at school. It was the 21st of June. Music and songs filled the air as our school was celebrating Music Day. All the pupils had gathered in the school yard. A journalist and a cameraman were present for media coverage. They went around asking everyone about the importance of the celebrations. Mrs. Rama answered, This school event makes the children happy as they get the opportunity to show their talent. We, teachers, are proud to see how well our pupils perform. Mr. James, the physical education teacher, added, This event brings everyone together. Mrs. Lalita, the caretaker, agreed. Music soothes us and brings joy to everyone. Aninia, a young girl from grade 6, said, Music Day gives pupils the opportunity to be in the spotlight. I hope you are following in your book. Let us continue. The headmaster told the pupils how Music Day had first been organized in Paris in 1982 by the French Minister of Culture, Jacques Lang. Since then, professional and amateur musicians celebrate this event by playing their instruments everywhere, on rooftops, in front of shops and in parks. The headmaster added that, in schools, Music Day is organized to promote art and music and ensure the overall development of pupils. The show started with a parade. Children marched in, playing their favorite musical instruments. First came those playing string instruments, guitars, banjos and violins. Just behind them came Julia, Ridwan and Asen with their wind instruments. A trumpet. A trumpet, a flute, and a saxophone. Some musicians played percussion instruments, cymbals, drums, bongos and xylophones. Others played keyboard instruments like the piano and organ. Cruz and Panmini were playing the harmonica and the accordion. Finally, there were instruments typical to our island like the triang and the ravan. The young musicians played so well that everybody was enthralled. As they walked away, a storm of applause came from the audience. The younger pupils then came on stage. It was so charming to see kids jumping, twisting and dancing. Their lively steps, enchanting smile and colorful clothes impressed everyone present. Next, some pupils sang a beautiful song in modern Chinese. Although the audience could not understand the words, 
The voices were so sweet and melodious that everybody cheered at the end. Some other pupils danced to a modern tune. They moved in unison and the rhythm was so lively that we too started to move the beat. We could see that they had rehearsed a lot for that dance. The grade 6 girls performed the traditional Indian dance, the Katak, with perfect mastery. They danced to the music of a famous composer. The dancers were so graceful that the audience was fascinated. The show ended with a typical Sega dance. The boys sang and played their bongos, ravan and triangle, while girls wearing long flowery skirts danced all around. Everybody clapped and sang happily. Many other pupils joined them on stage and danced with the young artists. Music had really made the day of all those present for that celebration. Okay. It is such a nice uh, passage with beautiful vocabulary of music day. So you will be, uh, you can see at the bottom some musical instruments like xylophone, banjo, cymbals, triangle, bongos, organ. Okay. So, after having read the passage comprehension, I will now explain some. Uh, I will now explain the uh, some vocabulary of the passage. So you are going to follow from the beginning, page ninety-three. Follow from the beginning. Okay, I will be explaining some vocabulary. You will have to follow in your book. I hope you understood about the passage, what it is telling you. So the passage is telling you about the, uh, 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 some uh, pupils of a uh, school are celebrating music day. It was the 21st of June, so as you know, Music Day is celebrated each on the 21st of June. Music and songs filled the air as our school was celebrating Music Day. What is the meaning of music and songs filled the air? Which means everywhere there were uh, music and songs, the children were happy, they were singing. All the pupils had gathered in the schoolyard. A journalist and a cameraman were present for media coverage. You remember uh, in our previous video, we talked about media coverage. So journalists and cameramen were here to uh, take photos and to film, to record about this special day. Then they are going to broadcast on television, on media. They went around asking everyone about the importance of the celebration. So they were asking, they wanted to know, uh, they wanted the children to talk about why they like this uh, special day. What is the importance? Mrs. Rama answered, this school even makes the children happy as they get the opportunity to show their talent. We teachers are proud to see how well our pupils perform. So, Mrs. Rama is a teacher who is very happy because her pupils are very, very keen, very eager, very happy to celebrate this, uh, this special music day and to show their talent. So, they have got the opportunity means they have got the chance. Mr. James, the physical education teacher, Added, this event brings everyone together. Mrs. Lalita, the caretaker, agreed. Music soothes us and brings joy to everyone. Remember, we talked about what is the meaning of soothe. Means music soothes us. Music uh, 
uh, relieves us of pain and comforts us. Aninia Younger from grade 6 said, Music Day gives pupils the opportunity to be in the spotlight, to be in the spotlight, to have attention. The pupils are going to have attention when they are going to perform. The headmaster told the pupils how Music Day had first been organized in Paris in 1982 by the French Minister of Culture, Jacques Lang. Since then, professional and amateur musicians celebrate this event by playing the instruments everywhere. So professional uh, someone who knows very well how to play music, but also you have amateur. Amateur meaning non-professional musicians. But still they are playing their instruments everywhere, meaning they love to play their instruments on rooftops, in front of shops, and in parks. The headmaster added that in schools, Music Day is organized to promote art and music and ensure the overall development of pupils. So, Music Day is celebrated to promote, meaning to encourage, to encourage more art and music and to the overall development of pupils. So, pupils are not only uh, there in school to to get education but also to perform and show their talent. The show started with a parade. Children marched in playing their favorite musical instruments. So we will have all types of musical instruments. First, string instruments. So what do you understand by string? String meaning, uh, you know, uh, the strings such as in guitars, you have banjos and violins. String uh, instruments, instruments that produce a sound from vibrating strings. Just behind them came Julia, Ridwan and Aston with their wind instruments, a trumpet, a flute and a saxophone. Now, what is the meaning of wind instruments? Eh? The player blow in the mouthpiece set like a trumpet, a flute, and saxophone. Some musicians played percussion instruments, uh, cymbals, drums, bongos, and uh, xylophones, percussion instruments. Eh? Sound is produced when playing instruments with hands. Others played keyboard instruments like the piano and organ. Cruz and Panmini were playing the harmonica and accordion. These are musical instruments uh, that you will see later on in the video. I'm going to show you some pictures. Finally, there were instruments typical to our island like the triangle and the ravan. I'm sure you already you, 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 you know what is a ravan. Triangle, you can see uh, at the bottom of your page 94 what is a triangle and Ravan. So these instruments are typical to our island. What is the meaning of typical? Typical that is symbolic. So if uh, when someone uh, hears that there is this these instruments triangle Ravan, they already know that these are in Mauritius. The young musicians played so well that everybody was enthralled. And for as well, we did this as our keyword. And for meaning, everyone was enchanted, fascinated as they walked away. A storm of applause came from the audience. The, the audience were, was, was so fascinated, they were clapping joyfully their hands. The younger pupils then came on stage. It was so charming, charming, so wonderful to see kids jumping, twisting, and dancing. Their lively steps, enchanting smile, and colorful clothes impressed everyone present. Next, some pupils sang a beautiful song in modern Chinese. Although the audience could not understand the words, the voices were so sweet and melodious that everybody cheered at the end. Okay, so some pupils were playing instrumental uh, 
Some people were playing uh, music instruments, whereas others were dancing, others were singing. Some other pupils danced to a modern tune. They moved in unison uh, together. They knew their moves, all of them, so they were moving together. And the rhythm was so lively that we too started to move to the beat. Everyone was dancing to the beat. We could see that they had rehearsed a lot for that dance. The grade 6 girls performed the traditional Indian dance, the Katak with perfect mastery. As you can see, mastery uh, does not mean uh, master, nothing. Mastery means uh, skill, uh, with perfect skill. They know very well how, how to dance the traditional dance. They moved, uh, they danced to the music of a famous composer. Composer, someone who has written the music. The dancers were so graceful that the audience was fascinated. The show ended with a typical Sega dance. The boys sang and played their bongos, ravan and triang, while girls wearing long flowery skirts danced all around. So typical Sega dance means you have musical instruments like ravan, triang and uh, girls uh, dancing wearing uh, flowery clothes. I'm sure I'm very sure you, you must have seen this. Everybody clapped and sang happily. Many other people joined them on stage and danced with the young artists. Music had really made the day of all those present for that celebration. So, music had really made the day of all those present for that celebration. It was a memorable music day. They were very happy and uh, the day went on well for them so these are some vocabulary words for you that you can uh, write down in your book you will underline the words for example soothes as you write relieves us of pain comforts us okay I'm, i hope uh, you have understood well the passage there are some very nice vocabulary that you can use in your composition wherever you're writing about uh, about an event uh, you can write uh, some vocabulary words okay let us move on Okay, you have some musical instruments like saxophone, accordion, harmonica, violin. Uh, if you never, if you do not know what these musical instruments are, take a look. This is a trumpet. All these musical instruments, you are going to find these words in your passage. Okay, musical instruments saxophone so the trumpet and the saxophone or what kind of musical instruments these are these are the wind instruments accordion harmonica and the violin harmonica and accordion are keyboard harmonica and accordion are keyboard instruments The violin is string instrument. Let us now take a look at your homework. Page 95. Okay, so page 95, you are going to read the text and you are going to 
choose the correct answer and ring the letter. On the 21st of June, the school was celebrating what day? Music day was first celebrated in which country? According to Mrs. Lalita, music makes people. You are going to find the correct answer. In the passage, the parade refers to. The word mostly suggests that the girls were. Okay, the next page 96, take a look, activity 1D, string instruments, percussion instruments, wind, and the keyboard instruments. You have symbols, you have some of the pictures in your book, and some I just showed you. Okay, you have the string, you have to classify these words according to their appropriate column. Now, activity 1E, you have to answer the following questions, but in full sentence. Check your sentence, write in correct sentence. Okay, so that's all for today. Hope you will do all your homework. Take care. Bye-bye. See you later.